Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I posted on any, any videos on the old YouTubes. Uh, it's just been a minute. I wanted to take the summer off. Uh, just spend some time doing some car shows, hanging out with local friends, uh, football games and stuff like that. Just, just enjoying life versus working on cars. For those of you who don't know me, I've been doing these cars since I was 16 years old. I'm almost 50, uh, so I've built a lot of these cars. Uh, a lot of people ask me how many Fox bodies I've had and Honestly, I don't know. It's probably 400 plus. I know I've had 60, 93 Cobras. Uh, they weren't all nice cars. You know, I've restored a lot of them, built a lot of them. So we just, I just want to take the summer off, enjoy the pool, and and go to some car shows, drive a Ford GT, um, and just just enjoy life. That's what it's about. Uh, tired of working, burnt out, and I'm sure a lot of guys that build these cars go through the same thing. Uh, we did go down to uh, the last Mustang week. Uh, we had a good time down there. Uh, met uh gearhead 704 shout out to him pretty cool cat uh neo mustangs thanks a lot for the push on the trailer uh so we had a little fox body we took down there my son bought i uh, do a video on it here soon we finally got had a little transmission tear up at the old uh darlington dragway third pass torque converter uh input shaft uh front drum so i had to get that that repaired but put that back in the car last week so i have been working on fox body stuff just been burnt out, hadn't felt like filming. Uh, but if you look at the content, don't cheap out on timing chains. Uh, thumbnail. I didn't cheap out. Like I said, I didn't feel like filming, but I thought this video was important enough to film and, and show you guys what I'm running into uh, with some of these new new timing chains. I don't know if it's something after the pandemic and oh, what's his name took over. It's a new world. Uh, I couldn't remember what timing chain I ordered. Uh, so I ordered it kind of price-wise, and if you guys know, looking back, even a year ago, everything's doubled or tripled. So the timing chain that I used to spend $40 on back in the day is now a $100 timing chain. So that's what I based it on because I couldn't find a picture on my phone about which timing chain, what part number. And it took me getting not one, not two, not three, three, yes, three sets of timing chains. Now you mean sets. Yeah, I'm building two motors. I'm doing a little 306 for another car we have and uh, the motor for Project Field Snake. Yep, I'm getting back on that, y'all. Uh, guys and gals, it's been a minute. Uh, I'm working on the motor, got the heads back, valve job done, blocks all back together, freeze plugs and all that other stuff. Uh, lifters are over here, new lifters over here soaking in some fresh oil. And uh, so I got to the timing chain set. I figured, okay, I looked them up, went to Summit, you know, it's close by. I'm back in Kentucky. It's two days to get here. You know, we don't have to wait five days on LMR to get me my stuff like I did in Utah. Sometimes six. Uh, so I ordered the Cloil. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Timing chain set. Thinking, okay, it's a it's a good good timing chain set. It's forty something dollars. So this is what I started with was the Cloil C thirty fifty seven X dual double roller timing chain. I thought, hell yeah, double roller just like factory. So I pop it out of the box. I stick it on the old brand new little Forge Piston 306 right here. Looks good. Yeah, plays the part until you go like this. Oh, slappy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a brand new timing chain. For the ladies in the group, imagine going to the old Target or Wally World or whatever and buying that designer bra and you take it home and you go to put it on and the straps just ain't holding the way they supposed to. This is how I'm comparing that. Not trying to offend you, but kind of the same principle. So I call up the old summits, say, hey, look, I ordered these two timing chains for these two motors, and they's garbage. Uh, they, what are you talking about? Well, they got a lot of play, a lot of slack, a lot of slop, whatever words you want to use. So summits, like anybody else, they got a checklist. They ask me what year the motor is. You know, I'm going to, you know, AutoZone. I need some vacuum hose. Oh, what make and model? So I understand, it's a checklist for dummies. So we go down the list, electric fuel pump, mechanical fuel pump, single eccentric, dual eccentrics. Y'all that build these motors know, they all take the same timing chain. The only difference is the timing chain bolt for a dual eccentric pre-fuel injected carburetor mechanical fuel pump. That's the only difference. So we talk for 20 or 30 minutes. Now, Summit has been amazing to work with. 
uh, they sent me two replacement timing chains. I paid the difference. I still have the other two. They said, send them back when you got time. It's not like some of these other Fox body companies that make you pay full for the new part and then credit you once they get the old one back. So they've been super great to work with. You know, Summit's not sponsored. Be awesome to have Summit as sponsor of Fox body stuff, but nope. So we played the game and we go through the numbers and I look at the prices and I'm like, okay, let's try this 21 38. It's a double roller. Description is similar to the coil chain. It's gotta be better. It's comp cam, right? It's gotta be better. Oh boy. So it comes in. It's got a really nice box compared to the coil box, right? This cheap white, you know, but like Tommy boy says, the warranty's got to be on the box. Something about a cow and looking up his butt. I don't know. So, comes in. It's in this pretty comp cam box. It's like, yep, this is it. This is the ticket. And open it up. Holy shit. Excuse the profanity. It's the exact timing chain. S. 612. Top gear. Lower gear. Is. Let's see here. Little specs working. 921. 111x that's the comp cam we go down the old coil s612 lower gear it's the exact same kit it's the exact same kit in a different box for double your money because it says comp cams now i don't know if this is comp cams fault i don't know if it's someone's fault because you know let's face it do manufacturers actually look at parts they buy that they get in do they do any quality control and that's another video i'd like to do I had a buddy of mine send me some pictures. Their company was making a uh, reproduction 93 Cobra wing. In-house, you know, wasn't surveying something they were making. He sends me pictures through cloud. I'm looking at these pictures and he's like, yeah, it's ready to go. It's on the market. We're, we got them on the website, check it out. So I go on there and I look at these pictures and some just don't look right. And I'm like, messaging him back. I said, hey, where in the hell is the third brake light? He's like, how did I overlook that? I'm like, this guy is, way up the food chain in this company and this is the kind of stuff you know i don't run a company but if i did i know if i was having something made to sell to open market i would have a quality control center that when they came in pull it out of the box make sure it's what you're selling to your customer and make sure it's a decent quality part because let's face it in today's world we're working for everything we got you know i know some people getting free money i don't know where the free money tree's at if y'all know where it's at, please tell me. All I can tell you is that $40 timing chain now is now $100. So, sorry I got off on a rant. So, go back to Summit, call them back, complain about this chain being exactly the same kit as the coil. Same part, different box. Twice the price. So, I spent another 30 minutes on my phone, going back, looking at pictures, trying to find, well, what timing chain was I using in the past that fit extremely tight, like it's supposed to when you put it on an engine not something that's loose and worn out. So finally I go to messenger pictures and I find something I sent a buddy of what I'm putting on this new motor that I'm building for him. And I find the 2120 part number for the comp cam part number. Now I'm praying and hoping. As I'm on the phone, they sent me these no cost difference for my hassle. Again, A plus summit customer service, very satisfied. I didn't like the fact that I got the same junk in a different box, but that's not their fault. They don't control where manufacturers get parts from. All I can tell you is Comp Cam's 70 some dollar timing chain is the exact same timing chain that's in the Coil $40 box. So, I'm on the phone, tell her this is the one I got. Send me this 2120 timing chain and we'll see how that one fits. Now, at this point, she tells me, hey sir, if this don't work, this is the Third time or second time we sent you replacement chains. If this isn't satisfactory, we'll probably have to do a refund. Now, I'm fine with a refund, but I'd be much better with a part that works. Much, much more satisfied. But they've done more than been over backwards to help me in my OCD, me being anal, getting a part that fits and works and is what it's supposed to be. So, this is the 21. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Right part number 2120. This is the 2120 Comp Cams timing chain. And for all my ladies in the group looking for that tight fitting brassiere strap to hold them babies up, this right here 
this would be satisfactory to you and to me. That's what I look for in a quality part. So if you guys are looking for guys and gals are building these engines and you want something to fit good and want something that's going to work and something's going to last, the Comp Cam's 2120 timing chain seems to fit the best. Now I understand it's going to loosen up a little bit when I start it, but you want to start with this, this right here, both sides, or do you want to start with this? I know which one I'm picking. I hope you guys are picking the same one uh, because that's that's how I build stuff. Uh, if you look at the engines, I this little 306, forge pistons, Mako's tumbled, freeze plugs. I'll swap that timing chain out and get that piece of shit off of there. So this is going in a little, little project we got. And this is uh, Project Field Snakes, GT40s. Let's see over here, we got the 93 date code in the head. Still got the paint marks in the block. Look brand new. All that's ready to go. New head gaskets. Like I said. Again, I hope it didn't offend anybody. Ladies in the group. That's about the only thing I do is compare it to old brawl strap and swore out. Uh, you don't want that. Uh, so again, thank you guys and gals for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. I'm going to try to put some videos together. We're going to do some on a little green coop. Thanks again to uh, Neil Mustangs for that push on the trailer. Uh, if I thought that, we've been stuck at the end of the track down there. I'm trying to figure out how to get that thing on there. I really appreciate that. And uh, Gearhead704, thanks for the t-shirt. It's in the house. I got a hat if you make it to Bowling Green. Oh, speaking of hats, in Bowling Green, we're going to do MRA. I didn't start my channel to push merchandise, but I did buy a few hats. Had a few hats made just for myself to wear around the shop and, you know, out in public or whatever. And I got a few stickers made. Not very many. So if you're Bowling Green in MRA and you want to shoot the shit or, you know, pick a fight or whatever... You know who you are. Uh, hit me up. I'd be glad to do either or. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you got a question, Fox Bowler related, 93 Cobra related, anything, I try to reply to my subscribers. Uh, I think anybody that sent me a message can attest to that. And I do re respond uh, through email. Uh, Foxjunk73 at gmail.com. Again, y'all have a good day, good weekend, and uh, thanks again.